Well, we're now getting a reaction to that controversial fishing tournament in Palm Beach County last weekend, targeting one of the ocean's top predators. Nearly a dozen bull sharks killed in a contest to see who could catch the biggest. But taking away these apex animals can have a huge negative impact on our oceans. Still, it was all perfectly legal. And we have to warn you, the images you're about to see are very disturbing. Here's tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. This is the aftermath of last weekend's shark fishing tournament off the coast of Palm Beach County. Yeah, take off that mask, man. What are you, not proud of your shark? 11 mature bull sharks hunted and killed in the name of science. We are starting to get to the point uh, where there's an imbalance, where there's a, a, there's a little bit too many sharks at the moment. Robert Navarro is one of the organizers, a sports fishing contest promoter who happens to sit on NOAA's Atlantic Highly Migratory Species Advisory Panel. Navarro says this tournament was needed. This is where I make my living. I make my living on the water. You can go and fish a whole season and never lose a fish to a shark, and now you're losing 50% of uh, what we hook to sharks. Last year, NOAA awarded a $195,000 grant to Florida Atlantic University to work with local fishermen to study a reported increase in depredation with sharks taking anglers catch before it's landed. And we were approached as they were uh, wanting to donate carcasses from the tournament. They wanted to have some sort of scientific value associated with that. FAU's Dr. Matt Ajemian and his team were there at the weigh-in taking samples from the dead sharks. There are certain types of tissues that you cannot get from live animals. Also there, the conservationist who shared these videos with us. I'm a biologist and I grew up down here in South Florida. I grew up sport fishing. An angler invited on the premises and welcomed at the weigh-in. What I witnessed was exactly what I expected. People excited to kill animals for no reason, <laughs> spreading lies about the number of sharks out there. Keep going. The tournament rules adhere to Florida law. Anglers could only legally harvest bull sharks, one per person, two per boat, whatever is less. But was this really only about science? They're calling it a tournament, but it's really a cult. It's not the first time we've seen it. What's crazy though, is it's legal every day of the week here in Florida. Ryan Walton is one of many activists with eyes on the water during the tournament, making sure everyone played by the rules. But the fishermen on this boat were caught beating a protected sandbar shark. Harvesting them is illegal in Florida. So is dragging a shark until it dies. These things are not made to die. We drug this fish for two hours and it still wasn't bad. This is a spiteful, spiteful killing event by individuals who realize that through the state of Florida, the bull shark is a legal species to catch. There are not that many sharks. I mean, there are not that many. Also watching the waters, shark dive operator Luis Roman. People are complaining that, you know, oh, you know, the sharks are eating my fish and all these other things. But the reality is, you know, when you're overfishing, there's less fish for them to eat. And they have to eat. Since the pandemic, Florida now has a record-breaking 1 million plus registered boats. There was a major boom in recreational fishing pressure. And that combination there is creating some of these heightened interactions. Uh, it's very difficult to say how many sharks are out there. So Navarro is hoping this will now push a new shark stock assessment. My job is just to report to the federal government, hey, we're starting to get an imbalance here. But for shark activists like 14-year-old Cade, this should serve as a wake-up call to all who care about the ocean. Five, 10 sharks, it doesn't matter if it's one shark or 10 sharks, it's still gonna have an impact. You take the sharks out, the entire ecosystem collapses. None of that shark meat was consumed. The jaws were taken as trophies, not the fins, that's illegal in Florida. Navarro says about 150 other sharks were also caught, tagged and released, but those are his numbers. Bull sharks, by the way, are a near and threatened species. And there are more shark fishing tournaments happening in other states this summer. The next one starts Friday in Alabama. If you'd like your voice heard on this, contact FWC and NOAA Fisheries. We have those links on our website. Scan that QR code on your screen. It'll take you right to the Don't Trash Our Treasure section on local10.com. So they had about 54 boats that <sighs> took part in that tournament. Mm -hmm. Only 13 came back. And only 11 bull sharks were actually... Yeah, you know, but the way one that where they were dragging the shark for two for two hours, for two you hours. said. I mean, that's, that's animal cruelty right there. Yeah, indeed.